Britain's senior sailor First Sea Lord Admiral Tony Radican today announced the names of the Type 31 frigates, which will now be known as the Inspiration Class. Each of the names has been chosen for evoking those values we strive for, cutting-edge technology, audacity and global operations. Approved by Her Majesty the Queen, HMS Active, HMS Bulldog, HMS Campbelltown, HMS Formidable and HMS Ventura draw their names from warships and submarines whose deeds and missions are intended to reflect and inspire current and future Royal Navy operations. Each name has been selected to represent key themes and operations which will dominate and shape the global mission of the Royal Navy and Royal Marines, HMS Formidable Carrier Operations, HMS Bulldog Operational Advantage in the North Atlantic, HMS Active Forward Deployment of Ships Around the Globe to Protect United Kingdom Interests, HMS Ventura Technology and Innovation, and HMS Campbelltown the Future Commando Force. The names of the five future frigates were revealed at the first Sea Lord Sea Power Conference held in Arundel House. I welcome the announcement of the names of the Inspiration class. Each of the names has been chosen for evoking those values we strive for cutting-edge technology, audacity and global operations, Admiral Radican said. They represent the best of Britain's world-class shipbuilding heritage and will fly the flag for decades to come. The Type 31 Inspiration class frigates will serve for decades to come, with names that will inspire our people. HMS Active is named after the Type 21 frigate which served from the late 1970s until the mid-1990s. She spent her career deployed in support of Britain's overseas territories and global interests, echoing the forward presence role of the new Type 31s. HMS Bulldog is named after the World War II destroyer whose crew boarded U-110, seizing an Enigma machine and codebooks. Their actions gave Britain a vital intelligence lead, mirroring the operational advantage in the North Atlantic the United Kingdom strives to maintain today. HMS Campbelltown was a United States destroyer loaned to the United Kingdom in World War II and led the greatest commando raid of all. She rammed and blew up the dock gates at Saint-Nazaire in France, an action epitomizing the raiding ethos behind the Royal Marines' future commando force. HMS Formidable was a World War II aircraft carrier which epitomized carrier strike group operations in Norway, the Med and Pacific. She survived kamikaze strikes and took the fight to Japan to the final days of the war, including the final naval VC of World War II. HMS Ventura named after the World War II submarine which sank German U-boat U-864 off Norway in February 1945, while both were submerged, a first in submarine warfare. HMS Ventura enjoyed a technological and intelligence advantage over her foe plus a superbly trained crew. Admiral Radican told conference delegates that the new class was at the heart of a new era of maritime renaissance is heralded by this year's defense review which recognized the importance of defense, the Royal Navy and the maritime realm to the prosperity of the nation. This maritime resurgence has brought with it a rebirth of Britain's shipbuilding industry to provide modernized forces but the government expects increased presence as a result, embodied by the global missions of the Inspiration class. The Type 31s replace five general-purpose Type 23 frigates which have served the Royal Navy with distinction since the early 1990s. All five Inspiration class vessels will be assembled at the Babcock Yard in Recife, where a new construction hall is nearing completion. The first steel is due to be cut on the ships this summer and all five are due to be in service by 2028, 
operating alongside Type 26 or City-class frigates which will be dedicated submarine hunters and will replace the equivalent specialist Type 23s. Babcock International Group will be built five Type 31 frigates New Inspiration class in Resyth Dockyard, Scotland. Babcock has a £1.25 billion contract to deliver five frigates, bringing the cost per ship to £250 million. There had been some reports that the cost per vessel had ballooned to £400 million. Based on the company's schedule, manufacture of the Type 31 in the first class will begin in 2021 with five ships delivered in 2028. Two ships will be built at a time, with a new vessel being added to the production line after a prior ship is delivered. To meet an ambitious timeline, ship contracts limit the Royal Navy's options for changing contracts or replacing ships while they are under development. The Royal Navy is also in charge of bringing the ships into service. Although staff had to work from home, ship development was on schedule, with 73% of subcontracts being tendered, including ship weapons, main engines, diesel generators and combat management systems. Babcock described the Type 31 as a road finder contract, adding that it would provide 1,250 direct jobs and an additional 1,250 additional jobs in the ship's supply chain.